Um, I'd like to thank the North Dakota Cowboy Hall of Fame for having Walt in your presentation to be elected into the Cowboy Hall of Fame. I've known or I knew Walt for quite a few years. Um, I knew him a little bit before I moved up to Williston in 77 and uh, we became good friends. <coughs> good friends afterwards. Um, Walt was quite a person. He uh, loved rodeo, he loved his family, he loved his community, and uh, really loved being a, a saddle bronc rider. He uh, competed in the NDRA, the, the Indian rodeos, the Rough Rider rodeos, um, NRA, and would go up to Canada and ride saddle broncs down or up there. He uh, started riding saddle bronc at a pretty young age, went to high school, and at the age of 18, on his birthday, won the uh, high school saddle bronc championship in high school, went into the national finals, high school finals, and ended up reserve up there. So I think it was kind of neat to win a championship, your first one, on your birthday, on your 18th birthday. But he went on and won different uh, NDRA titles and different rodeos, state championships. And in his later years of riding saddle bronc, he figured, I'm not going to be able to do this much longer. So we started roping together uh, down at Trenton at their rodeo grounds. And after he retired from uh, saddle bronc and going to a lot of NDRA rodeos, he started team roping with his son Shane and going to uh, different ropings there and doing quite well. He also, as he was team roping and stuff, uh, enjoyed being still involved in rodeo. So he judged, he had uh, some roping steers that he took to different NDRA rodeos, Rough Rider rodeos, little amateur rodeos probably around Culbertson, Poplar, um, that area, and stay involved with that for quite a few um, years. He also, um, as he was still in Trenton, became uh, tribal chairman down there and promoted the cowboy lifestyle of keeping the rodeo grounds, rebuilding it, um, getting bull ridings down there, rodeos down there, just a lot of things to keep people involved in the rodeo life. He uh, would take any time a person wanted. If you came to him and said, I want to learn how to ride saddle bronc, or you know, I want to learn how to team rope, head or heel, whatever, he would always take time for you and, and uh, help you out. He also enjoyed playing a guitar. He was a pretty good guitar player, since he pretty much taught himself. Wasn't the best singer sometimes, but he was a pretty good singer. Um, but as a, as a person, you couldn't find a nicer person. Um, he would always take time for you. And I think, you know, just not being a cowboy, I think being a, a really good person and helping people out all comes into why he should be inducted into the Cowboy Hall of Fame. He's got a, the family did a really good job on a book over there. Just go ahead and take your time, go through it, and uh, see all of his accomplishments. And with that, I'm going to leave and go back to, to Arizona where it's warm. 